Hey everybody, this is an update video for part three of the solar roof installation. I had a, um, there was a death in the family and wasn't able to be present during the installation. So we have some photos for you of the current progress of the home on my mom's place. And she sent these over, which was great. But um, today is January 12th and the scheduled install was January 4th through January 8th. So in your Tesla account, though, when everything is scheduled, they'll have an installation date, pending weather, and all of these other things, which I thought was amazing. There's other videos on YouTube that say it's about a four-day install. Others saying it takes weeks to install. So um, I was optimistic with Tesla that perhaps if there was no delays, they could get everything done that week. They currently aren't there yet, but I'll just currently share some uh, things with you at the moment. So what you're looking at is the house, and uh, this was all finished basically last week. Today is Tuesday the 12th, and uh, they aren't here today working. They will be here tomorrow and to continue the work. So what happened last week was day one, somebody came by for an inspection, and then from there, day two, nothing happened. Day three, basically, which was last Wednesday, they dropped off a dumpster. and started tearing the roof off and then putting on the underlayment, which is what you see here. And we'll go through different views. I've seen on other homes that the underlayment actually says Tesla on it, and this one does not. Uh, it's a Firestone brand underlayment, and uh, the work looks really good. So they actually fixed some minor things. It looks like they've actually done some painting on the trim and I basically was, uh, here's another example of all the items. This is a current state, like this was taken today. So there's all the, the solar roof tiles are going to be here. And uh, we're looking forward to this being done the rest of the week. So today's Tuesday. They reached out yesterday and said we won't be there till Wednesday to complete the install. Hopefully that they're done by Friday. I was told this from my mom. And I actually reached out to our project um, supervisor who had reached out to her and said, hey, we're gonna do an inspection now that the roof is off just to make sure that there's nothing unexpected. I've seen videos where Tesla went ahead and did a lot of repairs and then you actually find out about a big charge after the fact. So I'm hoping this is uh, an attempt to preempt that saying, hey, there may be additional costs like termite damage, rot to wood, some other things that aren't known on the initial inspection which is interesting because in the initial inspection, they climb on the roof, they calculate everything, they go into your attic to see if there's anything that stands out. But until the roof is fully removed, they can't make a full um, assessment. And you're probably going to continue with the project so they don't have to undo anything, but I'm hoping for an estimate if there was any um, anything found that needed to be replaced that they either already fixed and they're gonna charge us later for, but we haven't heard. I actually reached out and haven't heard back. It's been a couple of days. Uh, from the project team, but here's some more pictures. So we'll take some photos of the final work when it's done, but this hopefully gives you an idea of what to expect. So we're looking at a full two weeks. So January 4th was the start. It's looking like maybe they'll finish on the 15th of January. Hopefully it doesn't take longer than that, but you never know. I can imagine with COVID there's other delays and things of that nature, which is delaying all types of projects and jobs, not just for Tesla, since they do contract with local roofing companies who have their own staff that they have to train. And if they get sick, you know, it potentially delays the entire project since everyone would likely have to get tested. So they're really happy with this so far, just because my dad's uh, someone that knows um, he does a lot of the work himself and it's just he can he says he can tell this is just really high quality work that the team is doing. So that's the current status. Uh, the next video should be the final completion of the tiles including maybe some in progress once the tiles start going in and then we'll go through some system on and how that works with San Diego, uh, the electric company there, which is on a net metering plan that I think they recently, unless you've been in San Diego a long time, it's not full net metering one-to-one, -one, it's net metering and time of use so that you get credited for the expense of electricity, but when it's off peak, you get credited for that and that the off peak generation won't offset the on-peak uh, usage one-to-one. -one. So that's a little bit of an update with how theirs works. I hope this was helpful. And for those of you that are waiting, um, this is going to take more than a week, 
uh, some roofing companies, that's one of the big things that they're working on is you can get a shingle roof on in a few days, but the Tesla roof, especially if you have uh, uh, not as much experience with it, it may take them a long time. And that of course eats into profitability with the labor costs, but over time they should get easier and faster with install. So thanks so much, take care and talk to you in the next one. Peace.